All right, Facebook users have jumped 89 percent to 67 and a half million users in April, making it the eighth most visited website in the United States, that according to Comscore. The world's largest social networking site is now offering its users the chance to claim a personalized web address. Porter Bibb is managing partner at MediaTek. He joins us with his thoughts on the social networking site. It's an, it's an amazing phenomenon, really, and we are now Facebook friends. Uh, <laughs> you, you have to stay home on a Friday night, basically, to at do this, night, but a lot right. of people are going to, although, of course, you can log on with your right. BlackBerry or whatever. Well, you know, it, your, your statistics are only half right. Um, they have the, had this tremendous jump in, in membership in, uh, at, at Facebook, but since January, they have over 154 million people now signed in. Not everybody uses Facebook, but what's happening is phenomenal. It's becoming an internet within the internet because you not only can talk to your friends and, and pick up new, new acquaintances, but you can buy things, you can do video, you can watch television on, on Facebook. It, it's co-opted Twitter, which was the rage six weeks ago, but all of a sudden you can Twitter on you Facebook. You can Twitter on Facebook. I mean, you could Twitter pretty much on Facebook anyway. Twitter has seen some tremendous growth, but it yep. seems like people step onto Twitter, use it for a couple of days or a couple of weeks, and then kind of give up. And, and there's no real business model. They, they've yet to come up with a, anything other than the idea that potentially it's a viral marketing tool that advertisers can use to reach hundreds of thousands of people. Uh, but, how, how many people actually drop out? Of you? Because I'm listening to one of my directors yeah. say, that's just what you did, right? But a lot of people <laughs> yeah. drop out of Twitter after well, using uh, it for Tom a while. Comscore says over 50% of the people who've signed up last month use it for 30 days and then walk away. You see, Brian? I'm not the only one. <laughs> let's, talk about, uh, uh, let's talk about emerging markets here. Are these sites catching on in China and they, India? They, I mean, yeah. that's where obviously the phenomenal growth could be coming from. Uh, Facebook is, and, and its equivalents, but they will blow away the, the opposition just as, uh, as Baidu has uh, diminished Google in China. The, the social networking phenomenon is just beginning to hit. They, right now, the, the big 800-pound gorilla on the Internet is the massive multiplayer games where they have Facebook-type memberships, but they're playing games all the time. Now they're, they're starting to do everything else. And when Facebook opens up and shows you how much you can get, it's not just a, a, a friendly communique. It, it, they've got a link with Amazon now, so you can buy anything. If I could figure out the multimedia games, multiplayer games, I probably wouldn't come to work anymore. Uh, <laughs> What has happened to MySpace? Because obviously people watch uh, what Rupert Murdoch does and yeah. buys, and everyone wants to know how successful that guy is. Uh, but MySpace is kind of, I just don't really know anyone who sticks on it anymore. MySpace uh, is desperate. Um, they, they are only alive because of the advertising deal that Google cut with them that expires next year. They're, they're making a half of a, a, a $500 million a year on advertising. But once that goes away and it'll not be renewed, then one has to wonder what's going to happen in MySpace. They, they, they offered free music last month, uh, trying to break the model of the music industry. Nothing happened. All right, so uh, speaking of MySpace, though, you know, MySpace, Flickr, uh, Yahoo, all of these companies, uh, all these websites Friends already do. offer you basically your personalized yeah. right. uh, uh, URL, and now you can right. get it on Facebook. This is the story that you know Jody wants to know about. How can she get her name here? Uh, right. What's the deal with that? I mean, is this? It seems like Facebook's really the last uh, website to catch on here. Yeah, I think Facebook is going to obliterate Yahoo, uh, MSN, AOL for sure, and become the portal that, the, of choice for for most people. Certainly, if you're 35 or under, you, you're on Facebook and you're glued to it. And and the big big phenomenon of Facebook is mobile. Everybody who has uh, a phone is using Facebook now for location finding, for communicating, for, for short messaging. Uh, it they, works on your Blackberry, it, it works it, on your iPhone. It works sensationally on Have the they iPhone. figured out the uh, advertising phenomenon here with they, these social networking sites? indeed, and you're going to start to see the ads. Without being annoyed, in. is yeah, it going to actually yeah, work? Yeah. When is the IPO for Facebook and how much yeah, is it going to uh, be well, worth? Look, Excel Partners and Microsoft are the big backers right now. I don't know if it's ever going to go public. Mark Zuckerberg, who started it, is saying, I've got a business model that works, and I'm staying private as long as I can. We have seen it valued at $15 billion, $10 yep. billion. You, th you think it's really worth around that much? Uh, it could be. I mean, could be. As I said, it has a real opportunity to replace Yahoo and MSN as the portals of choice on the Internet. All right. If you don't have a Bloomberg, really, right? Because if you have a Bloomberg... <laughs> 
You don't need any of this stuff. <laughs> yeah, the messaging course. system on the Bloomberg well, is superior Bloomberg's to got any the of content. these things. The other, the other guys have the, the glitz and the, and the glamour. <laughs> All right. Porter, thanks so much for joining us. Porter Bibb uh, from Media Tech Capital Park.